uh, we, we thought uh, we would have a meeting like this uh, every second Saturday of each month. So we are expecting uh, first speakers. In fact, uh, though we are not going to disclose all the speakers, we have already got the 12 speakers for this year already. And uh, so in that sense, uh, we have got a uh, lot of support from uh, a lot of people. And uh, uh, just wanted to give you some kind of a background to why we are doing this and what was the need for doing all of this. And uh, of course, uh, we were quite all well when uh, March for Science events happened across the country. And it turns out uh, that uh, thousands of people actually marched for science on the streets. It was not expected that so many people would come from so many places. And, uh, and the reasons at that time were of course multiple. Some people came to raise the funds for science and some people came because uh, a lot of uh, belief systems are floating around without reason or uh, justification and evidence. And so, there is this uh, counterculture also progressing all over the world and particularly also in India. So therefore we thought that it's very important that uh, as a part of uh, developing public understanding of science, uh, we thought that it's very important to continuously engage people and uh, continuously bring in scholars from various places. So the hope that we have is the following that uh, we are starting this QST circle in Mumbai and, and we are calling it as CC Mumbai. But then we are expecting that since uh, a large number of groups and many of our friends are also there in Bangalore, Calcutta, Delhi, uh, Cochin, Trivandrum and you know like Chennai and every, various places. We are expecting that all of them would begin something like this. Because you know we managed to get 12 speakers for this year so easily in Mumbai. And of course, there will be another 12 speakers waiting for next year as well, which means that and if you, if you look at Bangalore or any of the other cities, of course there are so many people. For example, Pune will have a large number of speakers also waiting to say something about uh, this whole thing called uh, culture of science. And therefore, we thought it would be a very wonderful opportunity to let the speakers speak and engage the audience at some place. And then we would also want to use the existing media and therefore, what we are doing is we are recording the talks. Uh, so, video and audio will be available for all the talks. But we are also requesting all the speakers to prepare a write-up so that we can publish it as a blog, so that we can continue to do this. So, we are hoping that we will be able to equally enthusiastically inform all the other city friends and town friends at various places in the country so that it will eventually become into a large number of uh, uh, material for people so that the public understanding of science uh, and the engagement that follows after each of those talks. Because, uh, so uh, you, you can actually note down, we just inaugurated both these things just today. Uh, so this is the curiosity circle dot block uh, is the domain where we would like to accumulate all the blocks that are happening all over the place. And uh, for social networking, we are using this handle uh, at Twitter. We have this uh, circuit curiosity because curiosity circuit is taking us on that. Okay, so uh, just wanted to uh, mention a couple of things. That one of the uh, important things that we wanted to think about and highlight, and we keep asking all the speakers also to make a note of that, is first of all, we should not forget that first science is part of culture. And so, the cultural aspect of science is not something that we want to forget. In that sense, there is a close, intimate connection between science as a social activity. And, and therefore, the negotiation continues to happen as we go on. And this, this is a process, and science evolves, and then there will be a lot of varieties of ideas that will keep coming and going, and then there will be a lot of negotiation and a lot of participation is required. And without that engagement, the public understanding will not develop. All of you know that, of course, in India, we have one of the rarest constitutions where scientific temper is part of our duties. But 
but then you know we all know that there is very little understanding of uh, what is the basis of the beliefs and why you have to believe something and why you not believe something or why you want to suspend some beliefs. You know, all those things are still uh, a major problem. And keeping that in mind, uh, I, I'll just read out uh, some of the points that we thought uh, are very important, some kind of aims and objectives of the uh, way to uh, uh, the, uh, the curiosity circle. And uh, so, uh, one of them, of course, is uh, to cultivate and promote the scientific outlook and uh, logical uh, reasoning, uh, uh, logical faculty of mind to establish a scientific culture in the society and to explain, disseminate, and popularize different discoveries and advancements of science. So, we would certainly want to do it in a kind of a more historical narratives rather than simply talking about them as facts. Or information. And then to foster consciousness uh, against unscientific notions, superstitions, fanaticism, communalism, untouchability, casteism, and such other orthodoxy which science doesn't support. To cultivate the study of history and philosophy of science, uh, because we take enormous amount of uh, advantage of uh, a lot of scholars in history and philosophy of science uh, who highlight uh, uh, these aspects that I mentioned already. To inculcate ethical values and social responsibility in all fields of scientific endeavor. To work towards a scientific education system. Uh, through revising and introducing correct method of teaching and learning. I mean, as you know, I work in this center. Uh, and many of my colleagues are also here. And Kobi Baba Center is hosting this first event. And we are very thankful uh, for uh, for giving us this uh, forum uh, from this center and, and this point particularly pertains to science education. To fight against the application of science that would cause harm to the society and destruction of humanity. A lot of ideas are being abused and misused even from science. So it's also important for us to highlight on those ideas as well. And to conduct campaign or movement for a secular scientific and democratic education policy. And these are part of our constitution actually. So there's nothing new uh, that uh, is coming out of this point. And uh, the last point, of course, is very important, is to mobilize opinion and to move for the introduction of correct and pro-people government policies to regard to research, development, and application of science and technology. So these are some of the uh, important points that we thought could be considered as being. And this is still a draft. And we'll publish it also as a blog. So all of you are you know invited to shape the objectives of the curiosity circle just as we are a democratic uh, uh, you know uh, participative kind of culture that we want to promote. So with this introduction, I would uh, uh, invite uh, Professor Arunan to introduce the speaker of the day today, the first speaker, and uh, so Arunan, uh, please come. Over to us.